A lot of hot air balloons in the sky right now flying past left field as a part of River Days in Midland, all of them going off down, uh, down Main Street in downtown Midland. One of the best nights of the year at the ballpark. Not only is it Margaritaville night, but River Days taking place in Midland. 2-2. Two -two. Slider poked through the hole on the left side. It's a base hit. Becker walks in from third base. He scores. Solomon to third, and that's an RBI knock for Tucapita Marcano. Fort Wayne is on the board first tonight. One to nothing in the second. 1-0, runner moves from first. It's a bluff to second base, and now Solomon stuck in a run down between third. Throw to Hosey. Solomon onto the base path, and he is out. It's a caught stealing of Lee Solomon between the plate and home. It goes two to five. One, two to Hosey. He drills this one to left field, going back to the track, to the wall, and it's gone! Cody Hosey uncorks one and ties it. His first home run at the single A level. And a big one in the sixth inning. Timely home run for the first round pick. That one, 368 feet. One to one now. Comes the pitch to Michael Curry from Alvino. And it's a ground ball, tugged fair up the third baseline. The runner at second base was Blake Hunt. He motors around third as the throw comes to second. Tie broken, two to one. Fort Wayne in front. Another payoff, runner again moves from first and it's chopped to the third base side. Deep in the five hole, Hosey collects, throws to first, it's an out, but it's another run for Fort Wayne. And on a 5-3 ground out, they take a 3-1 lead in the 10. 2-2. Swing and a miss. Fox gets your check. And that ends the ball game in 10 innings. Fort Wayne comes to Dow Diamond. And as the bottom feeders in the Midwest League Eastern Division take two of four off the cream of the crop, the Great Lakes lose. The final score tonight, Fort Wayne three, Great Lakes one in 10 innings.